morning folks <laughs> what a horrible day anyway we've got a two-day window of opportunity so the weather here in Lancashire is absolutely disgusting so we're heading we're heading abroad we're heading to a country where the weather is significantly better so we're off to Scotland yes we're heading over the border and we're after something pretty special so stick with us for this one I'm hoping it's going to be a good one folks and welcome back to another film now we've headed north over the border so we're in the highlands like I said at the beginning I had a two window day of opportunity does that make sense a two two day window of opportunity and um, we've got unfinished business here now for those of you that follow the channel, you might recognise this. So we're up near Kinloch Leven, about 10 miles from Fort William. And we're after the Pine Martins. Like I said, we've unfinished business. I got one picture last time I were up here. But things have improved. We need somewhere to have a sit down and a natter, don't we? Whew. This is a nice spot. Let's have a sit down here and tell you what, what's going on. So we've met it. We've met it up north and the weather is significantly better up here than it is back at home. The sun is shining. It's just gone in a little bit now actually, but it's fine and it's not raining so we're after we're after the pine martins like i said we've been up here before got a couple of pictures and that were about it but oh, midges have come back i contacted uh, keith that has this place up here keith thorben he's an accomplished landscape and wildlife photographer and he's got a fantastic little setup in the woods here where he's, he's built a hide and he's been watching these pine martins for the last few years anyway he's decided what he's going to do he's going to let people come up it's more kind of aimed at weekends really not midweek stuff um, Keith's got accommodation at his place he's got a fantastic little pod what we'll do now we'll go over to the pod 
not literally, but I filmed it before, so we'll take you over there now, midges, and uh, we'll have a look at the pod and then come back when you've had a look around. The chicken thing going on here. Little area there where you can sit and have a brew in the morning and into the pod. So we've got Nice little kitchen area, hot water, little fridge there, microwave oven, kettle, toaster, lovely. Excuse the mess, that's all my gear. So we've got a little dining area there, you can sit and have your, your grub, and there's your double bed, very comfy bed. I can. Uh, vouch for that because I had a cracking night's sleep there's the Z9 just having a little lie down a look after your camera gear and here is the ensuite which I think you'll agree is very swish full size sink there's your toilet full size shower Towel warmer. Excellent. There we are. And that is the coop self-catering pod what do you reckon of that smart isn't it really smart the coop really comfy accommodation i was in there last night and uh, i was warm as toast it was it was snug um so yeah i got up here last night traffic was it wasn't too clever so i was running a bit late anyway got to the pod threw all my stuff in there straight up here to the hide keith came up with me he set uh, he set a couple of cam traption flashes up uh that are specifically set up for nikon which was handy so i i stuck the um the transmitter on my z9 got the flashes working perfectly and then he left me to it and luckily we got a visit from the Pine Martin, just just one of them. Uh, he came in, he was there for about 15 minutes. I got some lovely shots. Shots of the red squirrel as well, had uh, woodpecker in, jays, loads of little birds. So there's just tons of stuff about. And anyway, I've decided to come, I'm back here tonight. Uh, so I'm here for, for the duration, I'm here till dark. And I brought my permanent light set up. We're gonna try something a little bit different tonight. Keith's just been up with me. We've just put a couple of new perches up. So what we'll do now, we'll finish this brew and then we'll have a wander up there, show you the hide and show you the setup. So just talking about access, probably a couple of hundred metres from the road where you can park your car. Nothing too taxing, nothing to climb over until you get to this little gated area here. So here we are, like I said, 200 metres from the from the road. Here we go. So we've got a little broken down stone wall just to negotiate. There we go. That's it over there. And then this is the area where we're hopefully going to get some pictures tonight. So this 
Let's have a look. I'm going to put you. Let's have a look at the new hide. So this is the new hide. Look at that. Bobby Dazzler, eh? Purpose built. All camoed up. Fully waterproof. Guttering on. Locking door. Put that up there. Nice. Really plush. Comfortable. No toilet in it. And there's no electric. So it's old school. Hide in the woods. This is the old one. That's where you'll have seen me last time. Struggling. <laughs> Struggling to get a picture. With some hours in there. Anyway, like I said, I came up last night. Pine Martin. Straight in and along this wall. So let's show you the setup. So last night, Pine Martin came bombing along here. And uh, Keith's just been down with me. And we said we might just change it around a little bit. So there's this long log that's that stays there. But we put this, this went down, had a look for a bit of uh, something unusual, found this. Got a lovely bit of some ferns growing on there. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we might get a pine martin on there. And we just changed this out. So I put a new a new um, perch, we call it a perch, what are we going to call it? Yeah, we'll call it a perch. Um, we put one of them up, up there, that was quite a task, good job there were two of us, it's quite a big thing that. And you know, you get them all along this wall, red squirrels, loads of birds, uh, badges at night, kids have badges on, the, on this wall, so whether we see them is another thing. And then... This is where the flashes go, if you choose to use flash. Got another one over here. Brackets. Keith's been doing this for a few years and knows where all the best places are. Another bracket there. That's where the flash guns go. I'm going to put a couple of uh, permanent lights up tonight, just to illuminate it. And we'll see, see what happens. Just going to put a couple of, you know, uh, slack handful of hazelnuts out. And we'll see what, what happens. All right. Right, let's go and have a look inside the hide. There we go. So. Like I said, nice and watertight. A couple of chairs. We've got this bench arrangement here. Enough, enough room for two two photographers. I've got me, my little video head mounted on here. Well, that's a nice bean bag. I like that. Link in the description below. Right. <clears throat> yeah. So let us get set up. I'm going to go and put a bit of uh, bit of bait out now. Here we go. Oh, turn that off. Yeah. I'm going to go and put a bit, uh, bit of grub out now. See what we can get in. Might get some squirrels in straight away. Bit early for Pine Martins yet, but you never know. Let's do it. So it's at this point that I was hit by the vlogger's curse. The mic was on mute. By the time I got back to edit the film, I forgot what I was saying. One thing I want to mention is focal length. I took both primes with me, the 300 and the 500, and ended up just using the shorter 300. Ideal focal length and better low light capability. I also mentioned earlier about replacing the main tree prop. The previous one had cut ends, which can affect the overall look of the image and not give as pleasing an image as a tree with natural ends, as you can see here. After donning the obligatory lucky gloves, it was a case of waiting to see what happened, and I wasn't disappointed.
get in. Oh, what a result. <laughs> that was fantastic. So we had we had one come in and according to Keith that's the that's the old boy. So he's the granddad. And after he'd gone, he had he had a you know a bit of food and he, he went and sneaked out, put the, the permanent lights up. It's a bit bright in it. So I just that's better. I put the permanent lights up and then I, I don't know, I didn't hold that much hope for anything else turning up and then all of a sudden, well after about half an hour, three of them turned up and <laughs> that new that new tree that we put up today, they were up that like a shot head. I don't think I, I managed to get a shot of all three of them facing, well I mean that would have been too much to ask wouldn't it, but they were all over the place. I couldn't, I didn't know where to shoot. There were one up wall and then two up there and oh, they were all over the place. So I'm hoping that I got some good shots, but wow, what an experience. <laughs> that, that's made up for all all them hours that I did a couple of years ago and uh, didn't get anything. So I'm absolutely made up with that. That is oh, superb, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I'm gonna pack up now. I was gonna wait till dark, but I don't. I don't think they'll, they'll come back now. So that's it. That's it for this one. Happy chappy. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to get back and have a look at them on the computer. So, if you fancy coming up here, like I said before, it's a weekend job. Um, I'll leave all the details. At the end of the video, in, in the details and um, you know in the description, get yourself up to the Highlands, uh, ten miles from Fort William. It is Kinloch Levin, beautiful place, and you've got that little pod. And um, yeah, Keith will give you the tuition if you want. If you don't, you can come up. You can do your own thing. But that was fantastic. Honestly, I can highly, highly recommend it. I mean, I'll be honest. You know, going in, in other people's hides, it's it's not really my thing. And but there's occasions when if you're after a certain species, like especially pine martins especially, there's non round heroes. There's very, very few. The majority of them are all up in Scotland. There's the the odd one in the lakes. There's there's a couple I think in Shropshire. But if you want pine martins, you've got to come up to Scotland. And to do them um, properly you know when you're not going into a hide you've got to put I mean this has been like three years in the making so you can't just go up on a holiday and you know expect to get good pictures of pine martins you're very very lucky if you do you know a, a setup like this it, you know it, it takes time to build up and like I said if you want to come up and, and take some pictures of pine martins in a cracking location and good accommodation and someone to tutor you as well and you know and tell you the the ins and outs of flash photography this is the place to come so that's me done i'm going to pack up now i'm going to go and have a brew get back in my digs long drive on back to lancashire tomorrow and that's it for this one thanks very much for watching hit the bell icon and then when a new video comes out you'll get a notification uh, give us a like and a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one cheerio